morning, welcome to Art and Brie. Today I'm going to show you how to make my natural fly spray. <clears throat> what I love about this fly spray is that it actually works really well. I've had um, cattle farmer friends see me use it and be very surprised at how well it works. So it took me, let me see, I've been using this about a year and I've kind of honed in my recipe and I find that the four essential oils that I use work really well. You can always add other ones that you feel you might need or that you just like to use, but these are the four that I have um, narrowed it down to so that I don't have to use quite so many oils and then it costs less money this way. So what you're gonna need is a spray bottle. I use a plastic one because this stays down in my barn. If my kids play with it or if it gets knocked over, I don't have to worry about it getting broken if it's glass. Um, you'll need a measuring cup and a tablespoon measure measurer. You'll need some dish soap. These four essential oils, citronella, lemongrass, tea tree, and cedar wood. You're also going to need apple cider vinegar. I do use raw apple cider vinegar. I don't think it has to be raw. Um, I just am able to get it inexpensively at the grocery store by the gallon if you don't have that option I recommend just getting what you can but do use apple cider vinegar it works better than like white vinegar and you'll need some kind of cooking oil I just use what I've got this is olive oil that's what I'm gonna use today I really it's important to me that this doesn't cost a fortune and so um, some people tell you you need to use really expensive fancy oils. I buy the cheapest 100% pure oils that I can get because it's fly spray and um, it's not like it's toxic if it's not one of the higher market brands like doTERRA or Young Living. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's just maybe a different quality but um, I have found great results with just making sure that it's 100% essential oil. So see how it says that on there? There's no fragrance, there is no like yojoba oil or some kind of oil cutting the essential oil. It's just pure essential oil inside. So that's what you wanna look for, that's the most important thing. So another thing before we make this is that the reason the oil, the um, olive oil and the dish soap are really important. You can't skip adding these um, because the, they help emulsify the oils into the solution and they also help it kind of stay on your animal so that the scents don't just evaporate off of your animal and then only work for like five minutes. I do have to say that I find that this works the best if you spray it on twice per day. So I mean if you can't do that that's totally okay but I do like to spray my animals with this once in the morning, once in the late afternoon and I find that that works the best and it's amazing how wonderful this fly spray works. One thing I forgot to say is you also need some water. Okay, you're gonna do two cups of apple cider vinegar. It would help if I had a funnel, but I have kids, so all of my fun funnels and things like that are just missing. You're gonna do two tablespoons of dish soap. Two tablespoons of oil. And then you're going to do 20 drops each of the essential oils. Now, if you like, some people recommend using rosemary or peppermint or lavender in this mixture. I found um, with through experimentation that I didn't need to add those, that the tea tree kind of acted in place of those. At least I think that's what's going on. Um, I am not an expert at essential oils. I just know that I've been using this recipe for the past year and it works really good on my animals. If you're finding that your recipe isn't working as well, it just could be you have different kinds of bugs than us or something, try adding rosemary or try adding peppermint, try adding a little bit more of the um, I would try, especially like I would try adding extra citronella and extra tea tree and extra cedar wood. Um, if you're having 
if you're not finding great success with this recipe. You could add some extras of those ones. Those ones are really powerful at fighting and repelling um, flies and mosquitoes and even ticks. Um, if you have a really bad tick problem, I would definitely add geranium to this recipe. Geranium is really good at repelling ticks. I'm gonna put everything you need to make this into the description below this video so that you can just click on it and order it if that is easiest for you, if you don't have a health food store near you, um, or if you just don't have access to essential oils and um, apple cider vinegar. Like I said, you do not have to buy the fanciest essential oils out there. They just need to be 100% essential oil. No fragrance and not cut with any other kind of oils. All right, so I'm gonna add water. This is about halfway full now. This is a quart bottle and I'm gonna add water to fill it up. Okay, don't shake it, but do give it a little bit of a tilt. If you shake it, you'll make too much bubbles with the dish soap, which isn't a big deal. And then just before you use it, every time your animals go ahead and do that because it really mixes everything in together and spreads it out evenly. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Put them in the comment section below this video. This is what has worked on our animals for at least a year and it's awesome. We also call it shoe fly spray.